Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here. Practicing to take the GRE general test, 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. This is what you need in order to practice for the exam. It has seven real exams. I am on. I am on, uh, right now on exam. Exam. I'm at exam number three here. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 207 out of second exams. Quantitative comparison question number seven. Let's see what it has to say. Number seven. The greatest prime factor of 15. Versus the greatest prime factor of 14. There are a couple of things I want to point out here. Actually, it's not a very difficult question. 76% is a medium question, obviously, because there are 15 of them here. The first five are easy. 6 through 10 are medium and the last 5, 11 through 15 are supposed to be hard. This is a medium question. 76% of the people who took the exam, this particular question, uh, was done correctly by them. Three quarters of the people got it right. So it's not that bad. Uh, the very first thing I want to point out is that when you're taking the exam, it's very important that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that one is not lazy. You have to do the work. The people who got it wrong, there are probably two reasons. One of two reasons why they got it wrong. One is they probably didn't know what prime factor is, or maybe they were in a hurry and they just figured, well, if you take a, if a greatest prime factor of 15, it has to be more than a greatest prime factor of 14 because it's a smaller number. You can't assume that. You have to do the work. So what's a prime factor? Well, let's, before we talk about prime factors, what, what are factors? Factors are numbers that go evenly into a given number. For example, factors of 15 would be, if I were to figure out the factors of 15, uh, it goes into 3, 5, there you go, that's about it, and then 5, and then 1, there you go. So the factors of 15s are 1, 3, 5, and 15. These are the, these are the factors of 15. And all you have to do at this point is, of out of all the factors of the 15 that we have listed here, just figure out how many of them are prime numbers. And once you figure out how, you, how many of them are prime numbers, pick the biggest one. And that is your biggest prime factor. Same thing here. Let's figure out the factors of 14. There we go. So therefore the factors of 14 are 1, always start with 1, don't forget the 1 and don't forget the number itself. So that's so you see you put them in order so that you don't miss anything. 1, 2, 7 and 14. Alright, the biggest prime number out of these is number, is, this is 5, this is the greatest prime, prime factors. And here, the biggest prime factor is 7, and therefore the answer is B. That's all. That's all. That's it, we are done. The answer is B, because this is the biggest prime number among these factors, and that's the biggest prime number among these factors. Now I'm going to actually, just, just to have some fun, I'm going to change this question a little bit and see if you're alert. Let's change it a little bit, little bit, little bit uh, differently, and I'm going to do it in a in a different color, so you can keep them separate. So the green color is a different question. It does not appear in the exam. It is not there. I'm making it up. But instead of talking about the greatest prime factor, let's talk about number of prime factors of 15 and. Number of number of prime factors of fourteen 
and pause this clip as you're watching here. Pause it for, for right away. Pause it for a few seconds. Figure out your answer. Once you have your answer, restart it. So this is a this is your new question here. Number of prime factors. Similarly here, number of prime factors. Let me look at the clock in the back, see how much time I have, and then I'll come back and finish it. But in order to figure out the number of prime factors, we have to first figure out, or we have to first understand what a prime number is. But what is the definition of a prime number? A prime number is the number that goes only in itself and one. It goes into nothing else. For example, 7 is a prime number because the only number that 7 goes evenly into is itself and 1, no other number. Such a number is called a prime number. And that is the definition of a prime number and therefore, and therefore, 2 qualifies as a prime number. is a prime number because the only number that 2 will go into is it itself and 1. Two, 2 does not go into anything else. The only number that you can divide 2 by is itself and 1. 2 does not go into 3, 2 does not go into 5, it does not go into anything. It only goes into itself and 1. Therefore 2 is a prime number. Since the question is asking since the question is asking Since the question is asking number of prime factors of 15, well, how many how many number how many prime factors that you see here? I see this is a prime number, this is a prime number, this is a prime number, this is a prime number. There are three prime factors of 15, three of them. And how many prime factors do you see here? Well, the two is a prime number. That was a trick question here. So I see one, two, and seven. There are three of them. And therefore, for this new problem, the answer is C. It's not, it's not A. Because sometimes people, people miss 2. 2, by the way, is the only number that qualifies as a prime number. No other even number would, would qualify as a prime number because if it's an even number, by definition, it will go into 2. And therefore, it cannot be a prime number because it goes into something other than itself and 1. 14 cannot be prime number, it goes into 2. Anyway, that was the end of it. That was, uh, that was a little digression here. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to get hold of me, uh, to work with me, if you wish to hire my services for personal private tutoring, or if you wish to buy the solutions to any uh, solution manuals to these problems, you know, or if you wish to talk to me about any aspect of the JRE, just go to my website at www.prepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepp